So for registration, this is a little bit more specific than I said in the first video. If people are coming for the 6, 9, and 19 in pro races, this is what their registration forms look like. There's the front and the back. We need to definitely know which category, which class, and what kind of boat they are in, um, plus all of their paddler information and their fees. We can assign them a new number in the back of their box of boat tags. There is a whole section that are new numbers to assign. Just give the next one that's available, write it on their registration form, and at the end, after everybody has gone through, we will have, you have your lead volunteer, give all of those um, new boat numbers to the ham operator who will then in turn call them into the finish line to the race timer and myself who is there. Um, it is important that we have all of the information so that everybody is listed the right way as they are finishing so we know which class they were in and all of that information. If we don't have that information, it gets very confusing at the finish line. Um, so if, you've, if you're looking through the registration list, you're going to look up by their last name. And if you don't see them on here, you can you know, do it, have them do a new registration. If they say they've already paid, you can make a note of that. I will figure that part out at the, the end. You don't have to worry about that. But I would ask that you write everything in on this page at the end of the day as well so that I have different records of this. Um, it says right on here how much it is to pay that day. It's $65 per paddler for the 6, 9, and 19 mile race and $55 per paddler for the pro races. Um, if there are changes to the race, like if they're already in here but they say, well, I wasn't supposed to be in Masters, I was supposed to be in Veterans, you can just make that change on here and again or on another piece of paper however you want to do it have your ham operator call that change in they don't have to re-register we just need to say they are changing from masters to veterans they can keep the same number again we just need to make sure that the timer knows to change it in his system um, if they're a 24 mile corporate team and they are you know if they're subbing out some people that's totally fine as long as the team is fine we don't necessarily need to know each of the 10 paddlers for the finish line, but if you write them in here on your list, if you cross out who they're subbing for, it does help me afterwards as we do do um, race result certificates after the race. So again, if it's just changing a name out on a 24 mile relay team, it's great to write it in, but we don't need to know at the finish line. But if it's changing a name or any kind of race information, for any of the other um, registrations, that does need to get called in. So um, keep the copy of all of these registrations. If you can send them to somebody to go to the finish line, they can give them to me at the finish line, or they can give them to the race timer, which is the van that's down by the river. Um, I think that's about everything. Again, your lead volunteer should know what's going on and can call me with any questions throughout the day. Thank you.